Hello and welcome to Weekly News Highlights with me, Hasina Mumtaz. Here are your top stories for this week. In our top story this week, we bring you the results from the City Corporation elections held last week. The results are as follows. The BNP-backed candidate, Monir Jaman Moni, has been elected Mayor of Kulna City Corporation. He beat off his nearest rival, Awami League-backed candidate, Talukdur Abdul Khaliq, by a staggering 60,000 votes in last Saturday's elections. The returning officer announced the final result from the control room set up at the government Zilla school at around 1.55 a.m. on Sunday. Moni secured 180,093 votes, whilst Khaliq received 119,422 votes. Opposition-backed Asan Habib Kamal has been elected mayor of Borishal City Corporation after he beat Awami League-backed Shokat Hussein Hiran by more than 17,000 votes. He received 83,751 votes, whilst his rival Hiran bagged 66,761 votes. The results were announced by the presiding officer at around 10.30pm on Saturday night. BNP-backed candidate Ariful Hok Chaudhry has been elected the mayor of the Silet City Corporation. He polled 107,330 votes, whilst his closest contender, outgoing mayor Badaruddin Ahmad Kamran, drew 72,173 votes from the 128 centres. The vote wrapped up in Silet's 128 voting centres at 4pm without any major incidents. In Rajshahi, the BNP-led opposition's choice, Musaddiq Hussain Bulbul, has been elected mayor of Rajshahi City Corporation. Bulbul beat Awami League back candidate AHM Khairud Zaman Litton by 47,332 votes. He polled 131,058 votes, whilst his nearest contender Litton polled 83,726 votes. Raj Sahi's regional election officer Shubash Chandra Sarkar announced the final result for all 137 centres from the temporary control room set up at Zilla High School at around 1.20am on Sunday morning. All eyes are now on Ghazipur as the Awami League and BNP-led alliances are backing their local leaders for another battle at the ballot box for the post of city mayor. In the polls scheduled for July the 6th, seven candidates are vying for the post of mayor, 466 for the councillor positions and 126 which are reserved for women. Over one million people will take part in the polls. After more than a decade of talks, on Monday the government finally gave the go-ahead to the signing of a crucial deal that is expected to accelerate trade and investment between Bangladesh and the United States. The Draft Trade and Investment Cooperation Forum Agreement, TICFA, approved by the Cabinet, allows the two countries to foster an open and predictable environment for trade and investment. Washington has welcomed the Cabinet's decision to approve the TICFA agreement and both parties are waiting to sign the agreement either in Bangladesh or in the US. Following the City Corporation elections last week, Acting BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alomgir held a press conference at BNP's Naya Poltan offices to give the party's reaction to Saturday's elections. All four BNP-backed mayoral candidates triumphed over their Awami League rivals in the polls. Alomgir claims that the overwhelming support for BNP candidates in the City Corporation elections proved that the people have given their verdict in favour of the BNP's demand for a caretaker government to hold the next general elections. He also said that the people have clearly given a vote of no confidence in the present government. He said, we hope the government will understand what people have expressed in these elections. The polls send a message that there is no alternative to a poll-time caretaker government, he said. Fokhrul thanked voters in the four cities, Raj Shahi, Kul Nasilat and Borishal, and said that they bravely cast their vote despite threats and intimidations. If the government has any respect for democracy, he said, it should resign immediately. The BNP leader again questioned the election commission's credibility. He said, this election commission is obedient to the present government. We have demanded army deployment for the four city polls, but the commission did not respond, he added. Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina again said that if a caretaker government takes over, her government would not hold an election and it would not hand over power. She said, if a caretaker government comes in, it will try to stay in power until doomsday. And what will the opposition parties do then, she asked. The Prime Minister, who is also the president of the ruling Awami League, said this caretaker government would try to do things which the previous one could not. Many political leaders, including Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, and BNP leader Khaled Azir were put in jail during the previous military-backed caretaker government's tenure. 
The Prime Minister was speaking at a views exchange meeting with the party's grassroots leaders from Pirojpur. The meeting was held at her official residence, Konobapan. That rounds off our top stories for this week. Thank you for watching and join me again at the same time next week. Allah Hafiz.